Hi guys, welcome to the new Regal Gentleman Studios. Uh, today we've got Jethro in the chair. How are you, mate? I'm good, thanks. You good? Yeah. Good, good. So, what are we doing today? What's the plan? Okay, so when I look at my hair, it seems really heavy at the bottom. Because okay. I grew it out from a buzz cut. I cut it off some myself. I just tied okay. it up and cut it off at the wow. back. Okay, so okay, okay. I'm looking to fix whatever mistakes that, that might have caused. And oh, okay. Maybe like layer it a bit so it doesn't fall so... So heavy, yeah, 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 of course, yeah, definitely. So, okay, are you happy with the length or do you want to lose a bit of length? Uh, I'll be fine with losing a couple inches or something. And then what we can do is probably put some layering in so it falls nicely for you. Yeah. I think a couple of inches will really help you uh, or help me fix. Well, I wouldn't say fix because you might not have done a bad job, <laughs> but maybe just put it back into some sort of yeah. shape. All right, that's probably the polite way of saying it. Um, but yeah, I can see you've got quite, obviously with the buzz cut, is it grows all out at the same, yeah. same, same rate. So I'm, I'm guessing that's why you've got really short bits here. Yeah, I would imagine, because if you pulled it back, I wouldn't imagine you'd have short bits at the front. I think that's just your fringe that's grown out. Yeah. So we can try and incorporate that into the haircut. That'd be really cool. Perfect. So hopefully try and try and um, balance the whole haircut out today. Because again, you'll probably have natural layers that have just grown out. So we want right. to try and make them into something that is going to be good for yeah. you. All right. Um, but yeah, other than that, mate, I think that's uh, yeah. Easy enough conversation. I think we'll go through, yeah? All right, cool, man. Let's get your count up then. Right, okay, guys. So, just start by giving uh, Jethro's hair shampoo, um, just to make it easier to comb, make it easier to, to actually start the section off. Now, again, we've got a bit of a DIY job that we have to look at, um, but that's fine. You know, look, there's enough There's enough length coming off. I'm sure it'll be fine. But also, we've got, you know, you've, you've had the patience. I mean, how did you find growing it out for that long from a buzz cut? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've always wanted to grow it out. I went to a school that like wouldn't allow it. As soon as I left, I I grew it out. <laughs> that rebellion's it. been building up. <laughs> yeah, I think it took about two years to get to this. I Has cut, it? I cut like a bit off, like six months ago or something. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. What we need to do is obviously we need to get this into some sort of relatively good shape for for Jethro and also that we're gonna hopefully correct some of the the mistakes that might be in there, but also obviously balance out what is being growing out. That's the main thing. I'm gonna start by just trimming the sideburns first because there's so much length here. I wanna trim the sideburns down first sure. and just tidy them up. So got a lot of length coming up at the top here so we can kind of get away with going nice and tidy. to do the side bend as well. And the reason I've started at the side bend is because we obviously got a lot of length in here and I want to see where the true length on the sides is because that could get kind of misconstrued within the section that we're like, so that's the length we're going to try and take it down to. So by taking the side bends down first, allows us to see exactly what we're working with above the side bend for length um, because we're taking a couple of inches off. So I want to make sure, you know, we're working to the true length of the sides, not like the side bend or any little bits that don't really need to be there, like these these bits don't need to be there at all. They're not incorporated in the haircut, really. They're not doing any, not doing anything for, for Jethro right now. If anything, they're probably just being annoying. So yeah, get rid of anything that's a problem. Now that'll make it a lot easier now for Jethro when he does come to trim his beard. He's got an hour. he's got he's got a point of reference of where to start from where to finish. So I'm going to start with a horseshoe section for this haircut. Now I wanna, again, add these uh, the layers in. So working palm to palm, gonna work quite wide sections, probably three fingers in width. I'm gonna just connect in and balance this hair cut out. That's what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work this across into the middle. And I'm gonna allow myself to keep a bit more length, a bit more weight through the round of the head here. And that'll allow me to build up weight through the crown, but also build up weight to the corners here as well. There we go. So we're starting on the right hand side. I want to maintain a fair bit of length. Two inches is not a lot of length to come off this hair. So you consider how long the actual hair is. It's not that long. I'm going to work from here, from that line from the side bit up to the recession point, three fingers, so just to the middle of the ear. Take our first section, like so. Now by removing the side bit, we've now got the true section there, okay? Because there's not nothing we can't get kind of confused by what's in the bottom. Pull this out. And have a little look through it as I'm pulling it out. So there, see that short section, long section, longer section. So I think we work for the top bit. I think that we use that as our guide and we remove that. There we go. So we've already instantly added in a nice layer to this now. So we've balanced it all out. So that connects in, but we're still keeping the shorter layer falling through. 
just works really nicely into this sort of longer length finish. So how have you been uh, maintaining your, your hair then? What have you been doing for like your shampoo, conditioner, what's your routine at the moment? Oh, um, about twice or three times a week. I okay, yeah. Sh shampoo and condition. Then maybe sometimes I'll add like a hair oil or something. Nice, okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. And that, are you finding that, oh, since the hair's got longer, you're finding it harder to, to manage? Are you actually finding it easier? Um, I've always had kind of long hair. I've oh, okay. like tried to like get it as, I mean, not this long, but yeah. Do you have any bad hair days? <laughs> uh, not really at this length. I don't know. I mean, I don't really mind how it looks when it's all big and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, nice. I'm glad you said that because I think it looks great as well. Yeah, I think it really thanks. suits you. I think it suits you, your sort of like your, your image as well. I think it really goes well. Uh, when I saw you outside, um, I just thought, wow, yeah, like it, it goes. The long hair suits you, you know. Because yeah. sometimes guys grow their hair and it doesn't always suit them. You know, they they haven't like kind of dressed appropriately for it or you know their, their style isn't really long hair you know sure. if, you, if you know what i mean yeah you can tell they don't feel confident with it where you seem to have a confidence at yours that you can I kind of could tell you had long hair for a while two years from i mean a buzz cut as well that's it's so impressive so what made you buzz cut it was the lockdown was it i just never had really short hair so okay. i was just interested like what my skull would look like i guess <laughs> <laughs> fair enough that's a very honest answer, mate. I mean, that's, that's, that's cool, yeah? yeah? Fair play. I think, you know, not everybody suits a, a buzz cut neither, you know? It's, so at least if you give it a go, you know if you like it or not. Yeah. So were you not the biggest fan of it? Uh, I didn't mind it really, but uh, it's just like it grows out very quickly from there and then it looks weird. So okay, right, I would have yeah. to get it kept up a lot. Yeah, okay, I get you, yeah. I always think if someone's looking to do that, um, if you are, like say anyone watching, if you're looking to go to that length again, um, I think a number eight is kind of like the perfect clipper cut length because it's, it's an inch long. So you can still run the, you know, if you, if you need to, you can still run a bit of texture through it. You can still point cut into the ends. Um, if you run the cone through it, you can just point cut in over the cone. Um, but you can apply product and it looks great. I think it's a really nice finish. You know, if you fancy doing something a bit shorter, if you fancy that buzz cut, but not in a really aggressive like number three or number four or number two or something like that. It's a good finish. It really is. It looks good. To the left-hand side of the head now. Still working with my three-finger width section. Pulling a bit of hair in from the previously cut section to use as my guide. And I'm just pulling it out straight in the middle and then finding my guide. There we go. So as you can see, I don't know if you've actually noticed if you've been paying attention to this, but uh, there are a lot of long and short bits going through uh, Jethro's hair at the moment. I noticed at the very, at the very back, there was quite a, a sort of short bit and I was like, wow, okay, that was quite short. It didn't really actually take anything off that bit. But uh, obviously, like he said, part of the consultation is that we know he's cut it himself. So if I hadn't have asked him that question, or if he hadn't have told me during the consultation, if I, I could have panicked there thinking, oh no, what's happened? Why is it, why is it so short there? So then that's why it's so important to do a good consultation is because, you know, it, it takes the panic away as well. Also, if you feel like you need to take off more length, that's totally fine. Okay. I'll let, you, well, I'll let you know. If it, I'm, sure. I'm taking off what needs, basically, I'm, I'm trying to stick to that two inches if I can. Oh, sure. um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll definitely be adding some texture to it and stuff. So that will probably that'll make you feel a bit shorter because you, oh. you thin it out a little bit. But yeah, if you, if if it more needs to come off, I'll let you know. But at the minute, it's kind of seeming okay if I'm honest. Like this right. side's really long for some reason. We're working on the same I think same I guide. Tied, so when I tied it, when I uh, back yeah. in the day, I tied a bit to one side, so one side is shorter or something, yeah. perhaps. Yeah, maybe. But well, we're still working to the same same length as the other side, so it's all, it is all still becoming the same length. Okay, so. great. So you can see not much as well. Not a lot to go off this bit here, but be, as the previous section, it was quite short. So I'm gonna take off a couple of inches in length now. So roughly about that. And what I'll do is I'm going to go a tiny bit shorter at the back, if you don't mind. Sure. Just so, just so we can kind of balance that up a little bit more. Make the sides look good when they're the same length at the back. Um, just on this, on a longer hairstyle, I think it looks nice. I'm going to work the razor through the back and sides of the hair now, but I'm going to leave this bit here because you can see there's not, you know, it's not massive because obviously we trim the side bend. So I'm going to leave that. It's a little bit drier and a little bit curly, as you can see there, a bit frizzier. So I'm going to leave that. 
something that would work well with a razor. I'm going to work through here to create a nice bit of texture, nice little fall. Bring out a lot more of that wave. It'll look really cool on them, I think. Just dry it through to the diff with the diffuser. It'll look really awesome. Or we just leave it to dry naturally. Again, longer hair. I've got, I always try and make it as manageable for, for everybody as possible. I think it's cool. I think it needs to be manageable. Still a lot of length in here, so we can still tie it up if you wanted to as well, which is cool. Yeah. Um, what would you say is like my hair texture? Your hair texture? Yeah. I'd, I'd say you've got a wave to your hair. A I'd wave. say it's, yeah, I'd imagine when your hair was short, it was quite straight. Yeah. And then obviously the longer you've grown it, it's got a bit of a wave. Because um, as you can see, when you comb it through, it's quite straight. But I think if you left it to dry naturally, you get a bit of a wave in there. Right. So it's a good texture, mate. You can, um, it's a very, it's a very pliable texture. So you can do quite a lot with your hair. Mm. Um, you can create a lot more curl. You could blow dry it just with your fingers and create a nice sort of like a, a sort of just straight but slightly wavy um, you know if you fancy a bit of a different look yeah. um, or you could put like some curl and lotions in and probably go to town on it mate if you really want to as well so <laughs> you've got yeah you've got a good other hair to, to try some different things you know which is really cool yeah as you can see we just scrunch that through a little bit create a really nice wave this looks a lot more balanced now that you can see that straight away it looks a lot more balanced as well you're gonna have to wait till the end though unfortunately just one <laughs> <laughs> gonna move on to the top now so this is where we transition it so, should we take a horizontal section above the round of the head, bring it right across to the back, like so. What I'm gonna do, because I wanna keep a lot of length in there, is I'm gonna match this section down to the perimeter, which is here. So we're working on three sections through here now, so one just above the round of the head, one in the center of the center part, and then one just after the centre part. Now I'll probably get to a point where there'll be nothing coming off the bottom of this. Almost now. Definitely the next section, nothing will come off. So that means we've balanced it out. We're just a little bit here now. A lot more through the back. There we go. Now one final section, just off centre. Don't want to create a centre part form, I want to just four nice and natural form. So I was doing just past the centre of the head. I'm like literally just tiny, tiny fine bits. All the way down. Final section, just the ends like before. This is where we'll have that little layer through as well, so nothing major, because we want to try and keep as much length going in there. But if there's a little point, we'll have a little look. And we'll just take them little ends off there, a the little bits there. We have just to match either side, that much. Your guide behind, I'll strengthen it up. There we go. Just a little bit softer. That'll fall nicely into the sides in the back that way. Really, really wide sections. I'm just going to add a little bit of texture. There. I'm going to bring sections in like this, twist around, then show on the razor from halfway just across. I'll just create a nice little bit of movement. It's a bit like using the scissor when you do the kind of ribbon effect, it'll do a similar thing. There we go. Twist it around your fingers. A little bit of groom cream. Well, when I say a little, probably quite a bit actually. Not that much. Yeah. All right, we'll see that. Make it through my hands. I'm just gonna 
place it in like this, almost like kind of like scrunching it in. Pop on the diffuser. This is just a universal diffuser from Amazon, so you can get one of these easily, they're about 11 quid if you haven't got one already. Really nice though, because you can dry your hair and make it look absolutely perfect yourself at home. It's dead oh. easy, okay? Low speed, high heat. You just drop the hair in like that, and just move it up and down. You don't want to dry it completely, you still want to leave it a little bit damp, okay? Let it air dry so you get two different textures. It's always nice. Now, if you wouldn't mind doing one more thing for me, is just flicking your hair forwards for me. So watch the sink. That's great, yeah. Like so. And there is how a really easy style you can create on this haircut. So it's mainly dried. There's a little bit that's still a bit damp, but I'd always leave it a little bit damp because it just dries differently then. I'm going to spray a little bit of um, salt spray on there as well. Oh. I just think the, the mix of texture would be quite nice. It's just a little bit. Like that. And then I'd leave it. Right. All right. So that's where we've cut it to now. Can you see that? Just down to the bottom. Oh, of the yeah. Okay. Nice. So it took off a lot of length, really, but we've created that look now. So it looks that's really good. styled. It looks balanced. It's got yeah. loads of layers in it. That's the finish. So nice. you can just let it Great. grow out if you want it from now on and just enjoy this length as well. Yeah. I think it really suits you though, man. I like it. Thanks. Looks great. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Thanks a lot.